Good morning, lovelies. So, um, I'm at Loreo, which I should probably stop walking with, you're probably jiggling all over. Um, which is a beautiful 17th century ha uh, country house that is in France. Um, I've been here for almost a month now bef uh, before I've like filmed this video. I've filmed lots of snippets and things. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to put them together. I love it here so, so much and I've just loved being here and helping renovate and it's been so good but it's just meant that I haven't really filmed anything because I've been so in it, I guess. Um, the reason I've been here for a month is because, um, almost a month, is um, the way I was being renovated and we're doing lots of beautiful things to it and yeah it's really exciting so anyway i thought i would show you it doesn't there's a lot going on like we're having like electrical works done and the roof is being sorted at the moment and um the plasters have come and gone and still have lots to do so um it's very much a renovation site but i think you'll still be able to appreciate how lovely it is um the grass is all wild because of course in the summer it grows so so long but there's always like beautiful flowers all growing up through it, which I love. Mm. That is because I've been sanding all yesterday and I've taken off my varnish. I don't know why I had nail varnish on, to be honest. I don't know. I think we went to a party and I thought, I'll take my nails. Anyway, so this is the beautiful drive. It's such a beautiful house and it's been so amazing being here and helping out. Um, so the building that stands at the moment is from the 17th century but there was a building on the land probably dating back to the 12th century because there are actually tunnels under the house that lead up to the church that we used during the Crusades, um, which have now been closed, which is kind of good because I'm kind of creeped out by them. I love this. This is like a little secret walk down there. I was picking flowers along here. The pool is like just up on the other side of it. And um, I was like wandering around in my bikini, like cutting flowers and there were like butterflies everywhere. It's just, it's so magical here. It's like so, so beautiful. So I'm coming around the bend. This is the first glimpse of the house you get. Hi house. It's so beautiful. Um, so this building over here is a big barn. There are several on the property, it being that it's a country house. So this is the original part of the plat house. It's quite beautiful. We've just had the vines all cut back, so it's nice and neat. There's been, because there's been a lot of works and things, we haven't like re the drive or anything yet. Um, this is the view we look at every day. I wish I had a better way of showing you because it is so ridiculously beautiful. And this thing over here is a chateau on the other hill. And I see this out of my window every morning. And it's so lovely. The colours are just crazy. This is what we call the new part of the house over here. Um, it was built by the previous owner like 50 years ago. So compared to the original part of the house, it's very, very young. Um, it's crazy early in the morning because uh, I have to take a flight and go and visit some friends. Um, so we're gonna go through the house, but now I'm gonna be a little bit like, quiet because I don't wanna wake anybody up. Um, so just bear with me. So we'll go through the front door. Isn't this so beautiful? It's going to be the front entrance. It's recently been replastered and is in the process of being painted, which actually you can't really see. Oh, you can kind of see the colour of. Mm, no. What? This is the grand staircase here. It's going to be so hard to show you. Um, so basically this is going to be, this is the grand hallway. Look at these beautiful tiles. They're so gorgeous. And through here, is the lounge which as you can see we've put all the furniture in the middle of but we've been painting this a beautiful fresh white which is lovely and you're gonna have to use your imagination because when the light streams through these beautiful windows it's like this would make the perfect yoga studio like perfect it would be so beautiful i'm actually really sad um i have to um i can't like I can't be here for the final dressing because the house is going to be let to some lovely families for part of the summer to like help feed money back into the renovation project. Um, and we've just like, everything always takes that little bit longer. So 
So um, primarily my job was going to be to assist with dressing the spaces and things like that, but we've sort of, we're running out of time, so I won't actually be able to show you, but essentially we're thinking like a beautiful like navy or like blue for the trim there, which I think will be spectacular. Oh, and the radiators are going to be like proper real gold, which I'm very excited about. Oh, it's going to look so good. This view here is what will be the formal dining room. We've been painting this one actually again you can't really see it which was so annoying but this is like a stone and it's gonna have <laughs> uh, we've been testing trims out because it's, because it's so early in the morning you really can't see and the light is very yellow so we've got beautiful fireplace oh so lovely none of the light fixtures have gone in yet i just love like every window has a beautiful french view it makes me ridiculously happy um and this is going to be the library. Um, it's in such a state in here at the moment. We've literally just torn all of the old wallpaper off of the walls. It was um, redecorated in like the 70s um, and it was like this carpet on the walls. It wasn't great if I'm honest. Anyway, so this room is ready to be replastered now, which is really exciting. Just, this is the beautiful grand hall, a little staircase, spiral staircase with beautiful stone steps. All of this is usually much neater, but my favourite room in the house is the kitchen. It's so lovely. This is one of these like rooms that it's just like, so cosy and we spend so much time in here. Basically our favourite thing to do. Um, in like in the kitchen well in the kitchen in this place is basically we all eat together three meals a day we always have breakfast lunch and dinner together which i'm just i've loved so much um and while we eat we talk about our favorite foods or what we're going to cook for the next meal or the next day or what we should get from the store like we literally all we do is eat and talk about food, um, which has been super duper lovely. At the moment, like most of us here are vegetarian, so we've been eating um, delicious vegetarian food now. Oh, sorry, my arm is getting tired. Mm. Our delicious vegetarian food, which has been so good. Um, and yesterday I baked for Katie, because Katie is vegan, I baked the most delicious brownie cake and then we had whipped vanilla coconut cream and raspberry on top and it was I'm not gonna lie it was pretty good um anyway so yes this is the kitchen it's so beautiful I love this giant fireplace it's like human scale it's huge <laughs> but I love it it just it makes me so happy and I've spent so much time in this kitchen with such lovely people eating such good food and you know like reading in the soft cushion chair and you know, just like it's been such a wonderful warm space. Anyway, there's not really a lot to show because everyone's asleep in their beds. Um, but I'll take you upstairs. My room, of course, because I'm back into my trip. You can't really see. Oh, you can't really. It's not very nice in there. Oh. This is the stone room. So, a couple of weeks ago, we tore the ceiling out of this one. It's, it's ready to be plastered this morning, which is very nice. Um, but it's got this, like, amazing stone arch. And fireplace, well, the potbelly fireplace has to be um, redone. And that's the little barn over there where we hang all our washing. Oh crap, I've put washing out there. What did I do with that? Um, is that blue? No, it was. Anyway, so this one is going to be repainted and the glass ring is going to go in. Very, very good. I actually fell from a ladder in this room and hurt my leg because I'm clumsy. Anyway, moving on. which is usually very lovely, but as you can see, we keep walking plaster upstairs. Room, 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 room. This is my room. 
which you can see is lovely. That's my beautiful French view, which I love. And my lovely bed, which is really messy and I need to strip. But look at this cupboard. We're all convinced it's the gateway to Narnia. It's so big. It's so big. Like, I can't actually tell you how freaking enormous this cupboard is because I can't get me, like some me, and all of the cupboard in. It's so big. It's like, yeah, definitely the gateway to Narnia. It's huge. Um, but yes, yeah, so it's just oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my god. I love it. Every morning I wake up and I say hello to the chateau on the hill, which you can't really see in the camera, but it's over here. And I look at the sky, which is lovely. And actually down here, you can see these stairs. You go down and the tunnels are actually under that tree, under here. But I don't know if I have time to show you because I'm, I'm running a little bit late, but when I come back I'll definitely show you. Um, so yes, and then I'll give you a quick tour of the outside. And then the Hobbit room, which is one of my favourite rooms, is this little um, attic room. Sorry, the people who have to do the fan and the roof. They gave it very badly. So this beautiful little window, we're going to have some floor cushions made up so you can like sit and read and look out. A cute little window. And the skylight. I always love a good skylight. So basically this is going to be a children's room, which I'm really excited about. way is like more bedrooms and bathrooms it's sort of like bedrooms and then like two bathrooms there's three there's currently three bathrooms and two toilets or four i guess you can did i count that one four bathrooms doesn't matter anyway a lot is changing in september as well because um that's after the summer season and so you have like bathrooms are being redone and things like that or yeah things are being done basically okay so, oh, before this roof people get here, this is the back of the house. They've got a massive crane that they're bringing in, but up there is a bathroom, up here is a bathroom. This is the beautiful kitchen that I love. Um, this is that cute, like, cute little boiler room that comes off the side of the kitchen. Stone room there. This is a window where the staircase is, which actually would be like super duper lovely to um, open up one day but it will be costly so don't let me forget I've got to get my washing off the line. This is another barn. Very cool. And this is one of our fields. I'm sorry about it being really jubbly. Oh um so basically every morning here um we all get up and do yoga together by the pool um which is just through here. It's this beautiful it's so lovely. So this is the pool, whoops. This is the pool house. It's quite large. It's larger than most people's apartments, if I'm honest. And I love it. So we've got a few chairs out because we had a barbecue up here the other day. Oh, and that hammock, which I love. Um, I spend a lot of time in that hammock in the afternoons after work. Um, so yeah, and this is the pool. So lovely. We had a storm. We had a storm recently, which has like unbalanced the pool, but hopefully it can be sorted quite quickly. Um, so yes, yeah, so the pool house, and I really love around the pool, and of course we've got another beautiful rolling hill view that you can't see in the camera. Oh look, there you go. They're putting the crane on this side today. So basically they put this like giant, like it's like a, like a, I don't know what they're called, chairlift or something. Anyway, they have to get like the moss off and, and like clean the tiles and repair some stuff and big stuff. Um, I love this tree next to the pool. It's so beautiful. Anyway, um, I am thinking that I've got to race up. Hmm. Anyway, so yeah, we do yoga here every morning, and then we tend to, um, 
all go back to the kitchen and we've been making uh, all breakfast together. It's been popular, like it's it's actually been so hot. It's been like 36 degrees. Today is really cold. I mean, I'm wearing a sweater, but it is also like now seven o'clock in the morning. Um, but um, we have like stewed fruit and muesli and like av fresh avocado and crispy French baguette, which is delicious. Um, yeah, it's pretty lovely actually. And we all have like nice tea. Sometimes Katie makes beautiful Ayurvedic tea. Oh, and if I haven't given context, Katie is, um, I guess, project manager, really. She's, um, bonjour. You always, always say hello to everyone all the time here. Not only are we in France, we're in a country town. So, you know, it's very, it's important. Although I still haven't got used to the, like, kissing on both sides, like, because it's just not something we do in Australia. So, um, like, I mean, like, I don't even do that with my family. So it's like, it's quite funny, but like no one hugs. They just kiss on the face. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, so Katie takes care of us and the house and has been sort of like pushing the project forward. Um, I didn't get to meet Corinne, who's the, Corinne, sorry, who's the owner of the property. She had to be in the UK, well, um, but I will see her when I come back, which is super lovely and exciting. Um, yeah, oh. Oh, I didn't show you. There's a beautiful, you can, oh, you can't really see it. There's a chateau on the hill. Maybe I'll very quickly show you my favorite sneaky sitting spot where we sometimes sit to watch the sunset in the afternoon. I wish it was sunny today so you could see how beautiful everything is. It's like, so gorgeous. Yeah, this is the best. So not only does it have a great view of the chateau on the other side of the hill, but the stone on this side of the house warms up, so it gets really, really warm in the afternoon. And then you can sit and enjoy the sunset and everything goes super pink. It's beautiful. And that is the other chateau. I think that's another chateau. Actually, you know, now I've said it, I say that word a lot here, I throw that word around a lot here. And I'm not always right. In fact, I'm not always right about all the things here. Um, I'm trying to learn French, but everybody just laughs at my accent mostly. Uh, so I'm having limited results. Ooh, I get a So who's thinks the workmen are here and I have to pack up some things and do my hair because I haven't done my hair yet. Sorry guys. Um, I'm going to have to go. But thank you for coming and seeing this like very speedy, chatty kind of tour of Laredo. It's so beautiful and I can't wait to show you when it's more done, basically. Um, yeah, I wish I'd been able to show you the rooms and things. Oh, I have such filming regret, but I just really wanted to be here, like, now. So, that's okay. I've got, like, a couple of snippets that might show you a bit more of the house and some of the beautiful people I've been working with, so... Yeah. Okay, I gotta go.